Hello everybody, it's Tiger X here, and today we're gonna be checking out the final Jurassic World Dominion Lego set, and this is set called Giganotosaurus and Thanatosaurus Attack. This is gonna be retailing for $120 in the USA, and hopefully this recording goes well. This is my third time recording, had some mess ups, so <laughs> here we go. So here we have the two big dinos for this set. Here we got Thanatosaurus over here and the Giganotosaurus, and it looks really good. I will say the Thanatosaurus looks really good. Love the colors, love the new claws here, the new head looks amazing over here we have of course the giga looking pretty good looks really nice i like the big fin on the back which is accurate to the film which this can also be used for hopefully a captatacious lego set with the spinosaurus oh hey 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 maybe 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 oh that'd be pretty cool but anyways looks really nice let's move on so here we have the box right here so you can see it's a nine plus set with 810 pieces and there's the set number right there and of course the uh what the set is called so if we scroll down here you can see the characters that we get in this set here so we over here we got dr grant Edley Sattler, owen grady claire derling kaylee uh, watts right here and maybe this is dotson i can't can't tell who that is. Um, names are way too blurry, but pretty awesome set here. Yeah, so up here in the corner, we've got the Giga breaking out of the ember up there. We got a helicopter. We got a little uh, high high platform here. We got a little building right there and you know looks really really nice and for the back of the box we can see the inside. So here we have the inside of the uh, little high tall building here with a little you know, it's got a microphone and stuff and looks pretty good. Got the helicopter again. Over here we can see the inside of the building here. We got a little office area. We got some dino screens right there. Down here looks like we got a little lab with some dinosaur eggs, some ember, little working area over here. And yeah, it looks pretty nice. If we scroll down, you can see there's a play feature with the tower here. I wonder if the tower can move up and down. I'm pretty sure it can. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be cool. And the Giga can hit it and maybe knock somebody down or something. Over here with the helicopter, so you can put stuff into the helicopter, which is cool. And here is another look at the little lab, and along with this little workstation probably, and uh, Dotson here looking out at the Giga. So there is the back of the box right there. And for this final image, we've got for the box is this zoomed in image of Grant with a mustache. <laughs> Though he probably has more facial, uh, little, little like aftershave and stuff. But you just can't see it very well due to the blurriness of the image here. But we do see that we've got some ember, and well as this fire extinguisher. So, as a whole, I think the set looks pretty good with two little nitpickies that are it could have been fixed really simply, so let's talk about that. So the two little issues I have about this set is with the Thinosaurus and the Giga. We'll start with the uh, Thinosaurus first, which, you know, is probably the biggest one that LEGO would have to put the most effort into actually doing, is changing out these Indoraptor legs with proper non, you know, sickle claw here for the legs. Just just take out that claw right there, just mirror this right there, and boom, the feet, feet are fine, feet are fine. So they could have done that. I mean, they already did a new head and new arms. They could have done new legs too, but, you know, oh well, it's still fine, but this is a little nitpick there. Now, with the Giga, it's something that LEGO could have easily fixed. Super easily. No new parts, no nothing. And that is the arms here. And if we look here at an actual Giganosaurus skeleton, you can see that it has three claws here, not the two claws that it's using for the T-Rex arms. So what could they have done here? And that is easily took the Sticky Moloch arms right here and put them onto the Giga arms. And that would have been easy, especially since they already have the same color um, um, Sticky Moloch here. And the, and the Giga is pretty much the same color, so you easily could have just swapped the arms, and that would have worked just fine. And and here you can see that I did a little uh, little work here just to show what it kind of would look like if they used the uh, Thinosaurus arms instead of the T-Rex arms. And I think this looks way better than the T-Rex arms. You know that it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So you know, and I'm and I do have a few um, Thinosauruses of this of this color, so I'll probably end up sacrificing one to give this uh, Giganosaurus accurate hands here. And so those are all my thoughts on this set. Looks great, looks good. And you can let me know down below what you think about this set. Do you think my nitpicks are nitpicks that you agree with or no? And that it's just, just fine without those nitpickies. You can let me know down below. And I'll see you all next video. And goodbye.